Hello, my name is Di. I expect most of you will recognise me from the sales table at the uh, Flower Club. I must admit I do list, look slightly different at the moment because I expect one or two of you know that I've had cancer this year so I've lost more of my hair but nevertheless it's the same me underneath so I look forward to doing something um, so you can do an arrangement at Christmas. What I've done this time is a, a really easy one to do. You can all do it, no excuses. I have got a basket here and I'm going to use all pot plants uh, that you can buy quite cheaply. Uh, the beauty of the pot plants are that if one just suddenly dies, you can just replace it because obviously you can buy these small ones, large ones from market or from garden centres or you might even have them in your home. This is one that we've had in the garden or in the house. And I think it's about four years old, so it's time that I brought it in. What I've done with the basket I, is um, put, lined it with um, cling film and I've also put a layer of uh, foil in the bottom to protect it. And so if you obviously have to water these flowers, it could soak through. And as I say, make sure that you don't put it on any polish table because um, you could have a problem. I've then lined it with the hessian as well so just to make it look a little bit prettier and just pop these flowers in however you want just tuck them around if you want to and if you've got enough room you can put a little tray at the bottom a little posy pad to catch the water but if you give them a really good water before you put them in they should be all right for a little while just tucking them around you can have as, as few or as many as you like and then just tuck them around like that pull it round and dare I say this is quite a cheap um, present as well um, for, for people and a lot of people at this time of the year as well are, are, are money conscious, penny pinching and everything as well so we've got to be careful about what we spend but you can get these little pot plants quite cheaply on the market or your, as your, your market gardens and things and like I said before you can have some that you've got in, in your own home as well. So if you want to make it a little bit more festive as well, I have got some um, artificial um, apples like that. And like Pauline, I do like ribbons as well. So you could just tuck that in there just to bring it to a little bit, uh, bit more festive. And there you can see, you don't have to have any skills at all. Um, just uh, a little bit of an idea and don't think now oh it's okay for her she's got a basket a big basket I haven't got a big basket like that you don't have to have a big basket if you go to any charity shops they're only too pleased to give away baskets um, I forget to, I don't forget to, to line the inside as well to protect it and you can put two or three things in you can always put some fresh fruit as well if you want as a, as a gift but I think that would grace anybody's table, haul or anything like that and dare I say it would last a lot longer than if you have um, real flowers so uh, I think that would be quite nice for anybody. I'll put that down there. I have done another one. Okay, This is the self same sort of basket. Now the only thing fresh in this is the holly and the ivy. I have filled the box completely, the, the basket completely with oasis. I've given the ivy and the holly a really good drink. Obviously it wouldn't last for weeks and weeks and weeks, but it will last for some time. And if you have to replace them, just replace them. Uh, these apples and um, things like that are all artificial. So you can just pop them in there, even the grapes. So they look quite nice as well. A little bit of bling, you can put as little or as much as you want of bling, it just depends what your taste is and what I have done sometimes I have two or three candles at the top in the middle there and sometimes just one big one now if you had smaller ones you'd obviously put I, I use um, cocktail sticks to secure it and then put it in but I have just got a big one in the middle which I think is, is rather nice and unfortunately this year we have I normally meet up with my daughters at Christmas and we can't do that this year because obviously we should be more than six of us. So what I'm going to do is to make two more of these arrangements and give each one to my daughters and their families 
And then I thought what we'd do as um, when it comes to either 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock or whatever, if we all say to ourselves, we will light the candle at 12 o'clock or whatever said time, and we shall all be in their, their thoughts. So although we can't be together at Christmas, um, we will be in, in our thoughts and, and prayers with everybody. So on that, I hope that you have a go at these. As I say, it's not terribly difficult. Can I just wish you all a very, very happy Christmas, a peaceful New Year, and dare I say, a healthy New Year. Thank you.